Welcome back to the Odoo tutorial by Basham Infotech. So today we will be discussing about the maintenance module in Odoo. So all you know that maintenance of all the machines plays a very important and critical role in every industry. With the Odoo maintenance module, you can or you can use your equipments very efficiently. There are mainly two types of uh, maintenance type: preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance. So by using easily you can track all your maintenance equipments your maintenance request everything very easily by the odo so let's see how you can configure how you can create a request how you can uh, create the equipments and everything in odo so let's go to the maintenance module so i'm taking here maintenance so this is the dashboard view of the maintenance module in odo so under the configuration men, uh, menu, you will find maintenance team, equipment categories, maintenance pages, and activity types. So if you want to create a maintenance team, just click on the maintenance team menu item. So I'm clicking here. So these are the listed uh, team I have already created. You can specify a team name, team members, and the company. And you can... Uh, if you want to create the equipment categories, you can go to the equipment category menu items and you can create, uh, specify the name, responsible user and the company. And you can also uh, specify the maintenance uh, stages. So I'm taking here maintenance stages. So here you can specify the name of the stage, folder or request gen. You can uh, configure according to your need. So now let's go and check how to create the equipments and what are the configurations to be done for the equipments. So under the equipments, you will find the machine and tool menus. So I'm clicking on it. These are the Kanban view of the equipments uh, I have already created. I'm taking one of them and I'm clicking on the edit button. You can specify a equipment name here, the equipment category you have created there and the maintenance team, a technician, assigned date, scrap date, used in location and work center. You can also specify the company and you can uh, set like it is used by the department or by the employee or by other any uh, configurations. You can also specify a description here. And you can uh, note that product details like uh, on the product tab information. So under here, you can specify the vendor, the vendor reference and the model of the product and the serial number. And you can also specify the effective date, cost and warranty date. So under the maintenance tab, you can you will find the primitive maintenance frequency, maintenance duration, like how many duration it takes for the maintenance for the specific equipment. And you can uh, specify the mean time between the failure and everything. So under here itself, you can specify all the equipment details, product details and the maintenance uh, time, everything. And if you create any maintenance request against this equipment, you can find it from here. Like you will find a button box in the maintenance master and you will find here. So let's go to the maintenance request. So under the maintenance, you will find the maintenance request menu. So I'm clicking on it. So this is the uh, maintenance request I have already created. So I'm taking one of them. Okay. So here you can specify the name of the request, uh, the created by the user and the equipment name the category, requested date and the maintenance type like it's corrective or preventive maintenance and you can also link this to the manufacturing order you can also provide the description and here you can specify the team, maintenance team uh, which will be handling this request, the responsible user, the scheduled date and the duration of the maintenance and uh, you can specify the email, company etc. After uh, uh, providing all the details, click on the save button and there are some stages like in progress, repaired or scrap. Like uh, if your maintenance is ongoing, you can go to the in progress stage, just click on the in progress. And if it's completed, the request is completed and repaired, you can go to the repair stage. And if it is gone, you can click on the scrap button. So this is about the maintenance request. So under the maintenance, you will find another menu called the maintenance calendar. So I'm clicking on it. 
So this is a calendar view of the ODO. Under here, you can schedule the meeting, everything. And under the reporting menu, you can find the maintenance request. So I'm clicking on it. So this is the de uh, default uh, report of the maintenance request. So this is all about the maintenance in ODO. Thank you.